Okay guys, little amazing story here. So we're at Russell Post. This is where we're making camp in the Yukon. You can see some of these cabins. This was a great outpost, a famous outpost, uh, a place for people to fill up their stores, uh, trappers and probably miners and all of this stuff uh, back in the day. But it has some history because it was the place of the only known photograph of the mad trapper of Rat River. Albert Johnson came up here from the United States. He had done some bad stuff uh, in the States and you know, he came uh, up into the Yukon to escape all that. Apparently he was trapping on a native trap line. The native turned him into the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Uh, they came out to speak to Albert Johnson. Now he had done some bad, bad stuff uh, back in the day in the United States. So he thought they were coming to talk to him about those things. Well, it turns out that wasn't the case. They were just gonna ask him about the trap line and tell him to stop doing it. But I guess he pulled a weapon and that started what was apparently the greatest manhunt uh, in Royal Canadian Mounted Police history. This man survived through the harshest conditions, the harshest winter, carrying all of this stuff, no modern equipment, any of that stuff, while being hunted down by the Canadian Royal Mounted Police. Uh, again, the book is The Mad Trapper of Rat River. Uh, it's an amazing book, I read it. Uh, it was also a movie um, starring Charles Bronson, but, What's amazing about this camp is the outpost here was where the, apparently the last and or the only photograph of Albert Johnson was taken. He was there on the porch with a Canadian census taker who was going around through the bush taking census. Uh, that happened right here. That's the camp that we're staying in. You can still see the remnants uh, of all of these incredible buildings, uh, you know, getting taken back into earth. But what's really amazing, Matt, our guide, Matt grew up here. His family were like preppers. They got away from the States. They came up here and they lived in this camp for almost a decade. Totally remote, totally self-sufficient. They had to learn how to make and build everything on their own. But the cool story of Russell Post is not just that that's where Matt grew up and lived and learned his trade really well. But a famous outlaw came through here, turned into a book, into a movie and everything. And it's just an amazing story. And now we get to live in the remnants of that incredible settlement, Russell Post.